Your credit score is essentially a metric that financial institutions and other lenders use to evaluate how responsible you are and have been at borrowing money. My name is Priya Milani and I'm the founder and CEO of Stash Wealth. Stash Wealth is a financial planning and investment management firm for a subsect of the millennial generation that we refer to as Henry's, high earners not rich yet. So basically individuals in their 20s and 30s who are making good money and just want more to show for it, they want to get their financial together. So your credit score comes into play when you go to borrow money from a financial institution. The rate at which you will pay back your loan is determined by how good your credit score is. If you have a really good credit score, you'll have a very low interest rate, which means the cost of borrowing to you is cheaper. So the first thing to know is that there are not only different credit bureaus that determine your credit score and they all use different models to evaluate, but there are also different types of credit scores. You have a Vantage score, you have a FICO score. I really encourage people not to focus as much on which credit score it is and which bureau it's being reported to. That kind of nitty gritty detail really takes away from the bottom line of how your credit score is evaluated because no matter what model is being used, the most important factors almost always stay the same across the board. Having a reliable history of paying back what you borrowed on time and in full. I keep repeating in full because most of us get in trouble with credit cards where you see the minimum payment and you're like, oh, okay, wait, I could just pay that back. But it becomes a very easy snowball into danger zone. The second variable that's very important with your credit score is something that has a really jargony name. It's called your credit utilization ratio. All your CUR is, is the amount of credit you're borrowing against how much you have available to borrow. So let's use a credit card for example. Let's say you have a credit card with a $10,000 line of credit and you have charged up $1,000 in credit expenses on your credit card, you're using 10% of your available credit and that's your credit utilization ratio in that moment in time. Typically when you're trying to build your credit score under 10, 15, 20% is good for if you have a healthy credit and you're just sort of trying to maintain under 30% is really fine. When you're just getting started, if you want to hack your, your FICO score, just pay off your credit card every single week rather than every single month and you'll see your score benefit. The third variable that's kind of consistently the one used across the board is your credit history. What I mean by that is the length of, of history that you've been borrowing and repaying reliably. So the longer, the better. So if you're a reliable adult, then I would say you could potentially ask someone in your family or close circle that might want to add you as an authorized user to their credit line because you'll get to benefit from their credit history, assuming it's a bit longer than yours. But of course, you want to make sure that you're not abusing the credit that they're extending to you. So as long as you feel like you'll use it just to build your credit score quickly and then maybe remove yourself as an authorized user, I think that's okay. Most banks are actually feeding through your credit score information through to your banking portal. So like when you log in to just check on your bank accounts, you might even see your credit score right there. Another free way is that once a year, you're allowed to go to freecreditreport.com and pull your credit report, which also includes your credit score. Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.